Anne Hathaway says The Devil Wears Prada sequel is tempting. Anne Hathaway reveals something about the sequel of The Devil Wears Prada, and it looks tempting. But many things are in the way of this happening. What are they? And will this movie ever take place? Join us today as we give you the answers to these questions. But before we begin, please subscribe to the channel so you are the first to know when we release a new video. Let's get this party started. The Devil Wears Prada is one of the most iconic films of our generation, with Meryl Streep as an absolute force to be reckoned with. So when Anne Hathaway was asked about The Devil Wears Prada 2, there was quite a lot of attention from the media. The Devil Wears Prada is a film and novel that will always hold a special place in the hearts of all women and men who work in the fashion industry, as well as anybody who appreciates a good story, a little drama, and the Chanel makeover. Fortunately, The Devil Wears Prada author Lauren Weisenberg has written a sequel. This time, the main character is Emily, the first assistant who Emily Blunt hilariously portrayed in the movie adaption. The story picks up with Emily in the present and follows her work as an image consultant for A-list clientele under the title When Life Gives You Lululemons. She is married to Miles and resides in Greenwich, Connecticut. The book was released in 2018, so there comes a question. Even after four years, why is there yet an update on a live action adaption. There was some encouraging feedback when the first chapter was released in 2017. Entertainment Weekly published an exclusive first chapter of the book in December 2017. Emily, who's reportedly left runway in the dust, and Miranda, who's putting her dang coat in the wardrobe, is the story center. When Life Gives You Lululemons will be the title of Lauren Weisenberg's upcoming book, which centers on Emily's life as a successful image consultant, and was previously mentioned by the Devil Wears Prada author Lauren Weisberger. Emily had to fly to Greenwich, Connecticut for her subsequent work to speak with an A-lister who had to get over a DUI. She has her job cut out for her. Her. The first chapter reads more like a Hollywood tell-all than a fictional novel, with references to partying at Gigi Hadid's house and working for a pop artist named Rizzo, similar to Justin Bieber. And it makes the upcoming installments of The Devil Wears Parada so enjoyable. The ideal beach read. In fact, it's the best book ever. We learn very little about Emily's life in the last five years from the snippet, which tells us that she is still a workaholic and that her spouse, Miles, is very understanding and attractive. But still, there's yet to be an update on the live action. Anne Hathaway has her take on this live action movie. Before portraying Andy Sachs in The Devil Wears Prada, actor Anne Hathaway worked in Hollywood for many years. However, the Princess Diary album turned into an A-list actor before her leading role opposite Meryl Streep. Soon after, she was nominated for numerous accolades and received an Academy Award nomination for the movie Rachel Getting Married. Many fans of The Devil Wears Prada, which turned 16 this year, are eager to learn what has become of Andy, Miranda Priestly, and the rest of the runway staff. But under one stipulation, Hathaway stated she would think about acting in the 2006 movie sequel. Only the original cast from The Devil Wears Prada would make Anne Hathaway return for a sequel. Before The Devil Wears Prada, Hathaway had already starred in The Princess Diaries and The Princess Diaries 2, both of which included Mia Thermopolis. The New Yorker wanted to work in positions requiring greater maturity, although she became famous at Disney because of the role. After starring as Jake Gyllenhaal's wife in Brokeback Mountain, Hathaway had her eye on The Devil Wears Prada. She admitted to Variety that she was incredibly interested in playing Andy Sachs, a recent journalism school graduate who reluctantly accepted position as Miranda Priestley's assistant. Hathaway wasn't the first pick for Andy at the studio, but she soon won them over. The Devil Wears Prada had a cinematic debut on June 30, 2006. Hathaway's career took off because of the fictitious portrayal of the fashion magazine business. The actor appreciates the movie's success, but is still determining if she would like a sequel. However, Hathaway would read the script if the original cast and crew participated in a sequel. I'm not sure if could is the correct question, Hathaway said of the fourth coming sequel, should there be a movie with all the people again? Something totally different would be done with all the people again. One might have just hit the right notes. It's good to leave it as it is. Now, there was almost a year back. I mean the interview, many new things took place recently, but we'll talk about it in just a bit. The possibility of a sequel is already flawed as a sequel to The Devil Wears Prada has already received Meryl Streep's rejection. The novel's writer from which the movie was adapted had a different take on the matter than Hathaway, who is unsure whether The Devil Wears Prada will have a sequel. 2018 saw the release of Laura Weisberger's follow-up to The Devil Wears Prada, which she penned after serving as Anne Wintour's assistant. Which she penned after serving as Anna Wintour's assistant. Despite the popularity of the book adaption of The Devil Wears Prada, there are no plans for a sequel to the movie. In 2016, Variety 
Variety reported that Streep had secretly declined to reprise her role as Miranda Priestly. The Little Women performer acknowledged to Entertainment Weekly that the part was emotionally draining, though she never explained why she wouldn't want to play the character again. A few days back, something happened and it gave Anne new views. On The View on Tuesday, the actress was promoting her most recent film, Armageddon Time. Angie talked about why she doesn't believe a sequel to her 2006 film, which was based on the 2003 novel, is feasible. 2013, Lauren Weisberger's second book, Revenge Wears Parada, The Devil Returns, was published. Halfaway said that she doesn't know if there can be a sequel movie. She said she just thinks the film was in a different era. Now, everything is so digital. It's just that these things are so different now, Halfaway said in a recent interview. Even then, she noted it is tempting to imagine that Miranda is someplace in Europe and Andy and Emily need to buy her some coffee. They then pick up Stanley Tucci in Italy while he is at a restaurant along the road. Although it's tempting, I don't believe it will happen. Halfaway suggested that the film be relaunched with a new cast. They could do it and find new people to do it. The Devil Wears Prada, Meryl Streep's intimidating editor-in-chief Miranda Priestly, played by Hathaway, who received an Oscar nomination for the part, hires a fresh graduate named Andy to work for her at the fashion magazine Runway. There are also appearances by Stanley Tucci, Emily Blunt, Adrian Grainer, and Simon Baker. In 2018, people reported that Blunt didn't think a subsequent movie was likely. She said she'd be up for it if everyone did it and hoped it didn't happen because she felt like everything would be diluted when a sequel came out. The potential of a movie sequel was raised by the creators last year. According to director David Frankel, the studio didn't request a sequel, but we held a meeting to discuss what we may do in the event of one. We thought, no, this narrative has been told. Therefore, it may have been silly. Weisberger continued, there have been numerous discussions over it. That said, I wouldn't say it's impossible. Moreover, according to scriptwriter Aileen Brush McKenna, publishing and magazines have undergone an enormous transformation. During this time, Andy would deliver a tangible book to a different person's home each day so she could pursue it. I doubt it, but perhaps they still do that. Its time has come. Here are some reasons you shouldn't hope to see a sequel to The Devil Wears Prada. Since Weisberger's 2013 release of Revenge Wears Prada, The Devil Returns, essentially her vision of The Devil Wears Prada, there has been talking about a sequel to the novel. When Andy runs her magazine before re-entering Miranda Priestly's world in the 2013 book, which is set 10 years after the previous one, she is seen doing so. Unbelievably, the third book in the series, When Life Gives You Lululemons, was published in 2018. A big reason a sequel novel adaption, much less a third one, was never produced or made is the attitude of the original Devil Wears Prada actors. According to a personal statement, Meryl Streep is not interested in a Devil Wears Prada sequel, unlike Anne Hathaway, who would love to work with the Devil Wears Prada cast and crew once more, but is alleged to have said that it's fine to leave it as it is, and that the first movie may have simply hit the right tone. Let's listen to Halfaway and leave the movie as it is. I know that the sequel to the movie is also a masterpiece, and we would love to see it get adapted, but as respectful fans, we should appreciate the actor's wishes too. That is my take on it. What are your thoughts about it? Let us know in the comments. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.